What's going on, baseball fans? How you doing? So in case you missed it, the Rays have traded Willie Adames to the Milwaukee Brewers. So you might be thinking, hey, could this be time for Wander Franco to get the call? However, the Rays have decided to call up another shortstop instead. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so here we go. Instead of calling up Wander Franco, the Rays are going to be calling up Taylor Walls. If you haven't heard of Taylor Walls, as of right now, he is the number seven prospect in the Rays system. And uh, hey, there's a lot to like about this guy. Only 24 years old. He's got a pretty good scattering report as of right now. He's got a 50 hit tool, 55 run tool. So he's got a little bit of speed. He's got a good arm, 55 arm, not too much power. However, the one thing with Taylor Walls to keep an eye out for is the fielding. One of the best defensive shortstops in the minor leagues. Uh, if we just go take a look here at the scouting report, Walls has moved quickly through the system due to his greatest strength, his defense. Widely considered the best defensive player at any position in the Rays minor league system. He's a plus defender at shortstop with great instincts, plenty of range thanks to his speed and first step quickness, ideal fundamental skills, and a strong arm. And it's a, it goes on to say here, while Wander Franco is unquestionably baseball's best prospect, many believe entering 2021 that Walls, the Rays Defensive Player of the Year in 2018 and 19, was their next best MLB-ready option at shortstop if Willie Adames were to be traded or unable to play. So, um, and that just happened. Willie Adames is going to the Brewers. And with Taylor Walls, Willie Adames, uh, he's been fine defensively, but he hasn't been great defensively. So this is going to be a big upgrade on the defensive side of things for the Rays. And uh, hey, with the offense as well, they're going to be getting a little something with the offense. Taylor Walls uh, has been doing pretty good so far in the minor leagues through 14 games, hitting 327 as of right now, a couple of home runs as well. The 10 RBIs got a couple of stolen bases there, OPS of 958. There's a lot to like with Taylor Walls, and he's shown some decent numbers in the minor leagues in the past, but as of right now, it's looking like that bat is ready for the major league level. We already know the glove is ready, and I think that's kind of what the Rays are thinking here. They're thinking, hey, you know what? We're getting, we're getting a great glove uh, and if we can get anything offensively as well, hey, that's only going to be a plus. So there's also, um, I mean, again, if you're taking a look at Wander Franco, a lot of people wondering, hey, why, why didn't he get the call? I think some of it has to do with some service time manipulation. That's always uh, something you got the Super 2 cutoffs and whatnot. So, uh, but Wander Franco, I think it's only a matter of time before we see the top prospect in all of Major League Baseball. And you could end up seeing a situation, too, where, hey, Taylor Walls gets the call for shortstop, where they could call up Wander, Frank, Wander Franco eventually. I think it's only a matter of time before we see him. They've actually been playing Wander Franco a lot at third base uh, in the minor leagues, so they're giving him some time at other spots. So definitely could maybe see a situation where, hey, maybe Taylor Walls ends up manning shortstop for the rest of the year, and you could see Wander Franco get some time at uh, at, uh, at at third as well. If we go take a look at the depth chart as of right now for the Rays, if we take a look, um, so as of right now, again, Taylor Walls getting the call for shortstop, but at third base, they do have Joey Wendell as of right now, who is actually having a pretty decent season, hitting 309. He's got five home runs. Uh, three stolen bases as well. A good OPS this year. A, a very good year so far for Joey Wendell. So I think right now maybe Wander Franco getting the call to play third base with Wendell playing like this and also a, a veteran player. Uh, I, I'm not really seeing that as of right now when you have Wendell having such a good year. But maybe you can call Franco up uh, to be maybe be kind of like a utility player, a guy that comes off the bench a little bit. Or who knows, maybe they're just going to see how Taylor Walls does it short, and if he's not cutting it, then hey, they can go with Wander Franco. This is the uh, this is why it's uh, such a good thing for the Rays to have this much depth in the minor leagues. They can kind of just turn to all these different guys. So, hey, why not give Taylor Walls the, uh, the chance to see if he can do something, and if it works out, great. And if... And if that just means, hey, you can also call up Wander Franco to come help out the major league team as well, then, hey, that's just icing on the cake. But if Taylor Walls doesn't pan out as the guy or if he really struggles, you know, in the in the in the short term, you can give Wander Franco that chance eventually. Again, I think service time manipulation has some has a little bit to do with this. 
Um, but Wander Franco, I think it's just a matter of time before we see him. Taylor Walls getting the call for right now. But uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think the Rays are doing the best thing here? Uh, let me know what you think down below. But that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching. If you can, hit that subscribe button, the like button, the bell button, all the buttons. And I'll talk to you next time.